I'll just send. Yeah, good morning once again. We can now start today's session. I'll be sending the the topic in the chat box so we can just go through it quickly. Yeah. Okay. So good morning once again. If you can see, I sent the topic in the chat box. Um, our topic for today is um, developing a cognitive empathy. And if you could see, I also have a few notes here, which I would read, and then I will speak a little about it. And then please feel free to share your opinions and ideas on this topic. So the definition of uh, a cognitive empathy, it says here that cognitive empathy, <clears throat> also known as empathetic accuracy, involves having more complete and accurate knowledge about the contents of another person's mind, including how the person feels. It also refers to how well an individual perceives and understands the emotions of others. One understands the other person's experience as if it were being experienced by the self, but without the self actually experiencing it. So yeah, I personally, I think that um, here in Morocco, we can have a cognitive, having cognitive empathy is very key, especially in our daily lives. It can also be applied uh, in our workplace. Sorry, yeah, it can also be applied um, in our workplace because here in Morocco, we talk about changing the lives of people. And I think when we say, changing the lives of people, it doesn't have to do with negativity, it has to do with positivity, and it has to do with growth as well, it has to do with empowering ourselves, and I feel like having a cognitive empathy towards others involves us taking the responsibility and us seeing it as um, yeah, seeing it as our responsibility to ensure that the next person, that a colleague of yours, that a leader of yours feel like they have a positive and um, a rest assured workplace where they can feel at home. They can feel like they belong. They, belong. they can also feel like they are loved. And I feel like having a cognitive empathy is also a key in creating relationships. Because here in Morocco, as you see, we have a formula that we walk through. And I think that formula sort of connects each and every one of us, no matter what work you're doing, no matter what stage you're doing, no matter if you're in the finance or in the admin or in the IT, I feel like having this awareness that we we all work together as a team and having the that sympathetic and empathetic emotion towards each other is quite important. So I would like for you guys to share on ways and means in which we can develop such cognitive empathy towards others and how we can build on feeling as if we are in the shoes of other people and understanding where other people are coming from and helping them have a positive work environment please feel free to um, share your opinions and share your ideas. Thank you. Yeah, anyone can go ahead and share. Morning, Jessica. Morning, uh, that's, okay, yeah, it's Jessica. Um, yeah, I think, oh, okay, let me check the topic again, um, empathy. Um, yeah, I think, you know, it's important that, you know, you, you know, put yourself in other people's shoes, you know, we're all, we, we, we're this, we're all the same, but also all different as well. So I feel like, you know, obviously that saying of um 
um treating your um treating other people as you would like to be treated you know i really you know i really um what's the word i really tap into that a lot you know, basically because i feel like to be able to understand and um other people you have to you know take a step back for a moment and just put yourself in their shoes and which um it it takes a lot it takes a lot sometimes to get to that point where you can just um I feel like self-control plays a lot when it comes to that as well just having that self-control like you know to give other people a chance and just take yourself out of the situation for a moment. Just like when you're having a disagreement with someone, sometimes you're, sometimes you might be on the same side, you might be agreeing on the same thing, but because you're not giving each other that, that chance, you can't see where the other person is coming from or their perspective or how they're seeing things. You know, we're all from different cultures, different countries, different places. So, of course, we are not going to think the same. We're not going to see the same things the same, the same. And, you know, so, yeah, it's important to give each other um that chance and just put yourself in other people's shoes to see where they're coming from to try and understand them and you know like we always say you know we're not always going to be on the same um, page but at least respecting each other and having that understanding for each other is very important and just supporting it each other and sometimes it's about communication as well it's just finding a way to communicate with people um maybe you know um if you explain something to me in a certain language i might understand it better than speaking uh, explaining it in a different way if that makes sense so it's just understanding and knowing the the the, the people you're dealing with or you're around and just finding a way to communicate and just um putting yourself in their shoes and just trying to understand and having that patience as well um helps a lot so yeah thank you Marama, for that i also agree with you i feel like we should always give people chances to do better or to grow from whatever thing they are going through because the same the, the the thing that might there's a saying that says uh, what might feel good to you might not feel good to another person so it's quite important that we give each other chances to grow and understand things on our own pace in our in our own time thank you very much Mara. Uh, anybody else wants to share hi good morning um, I hope you can hear me. Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, thank you. Um, coming to this topic like cognitive empathy, empathy. Um, mostly like it depends on the how we judge people. Like you know, sometimes we judge people very easily without knowing like how what they're going through and uh um and what you can say like w what they're facing. Um, so like we usually judge. For example, I've gone recently like uh, um, to one incident, like I want to say this, in this, uh, what you can say, in this uh, corporate life, like we may have many problems and uh, uh, like I want to say one incident, like one, if two persons are working in a team and uh, suddenly one person uh, got internet uh, down and she like, she or he may not be able to come to this office and you know some some other person may not understand and she might like she or he might think that okay like uh like we have work but still he went off like you know he may not he may not understand like what what he's facing and uh like you no know, uh he like the other person if if other person don't understand like what what is going through and uh, what problem he has then it definitely not going to work this cognitive uh, like approach really is really important uh environment we can say you know some we may not come uh, and uh, like if, if you are working in a team 
and uh, if you have health issues or if you have any some urgent work to do with uh, work to do or we have we may have some family problems or we have we may have some personal problems so like you know if i if other person who is who are we, like whom we are working with if they understand us then we don't have any problem seriously so this thing really helps a lot like cognitive empathy like understanding uh, the person well and uh, you know judging well and we are understand the emotions of person we can say yeah and uh, supporting them initially yeah yeah these things matters a lot to uh, to be productive and to support each other and um, to run in a smooth way we can say yeah that's what i want to add um yeah thank you thank you so much yes and um, with everything that you've said you actually mentioned um very good points it's very important in this uh, format that we're in to support each other cuz we're not seeing each other physically we're just here online and you might not know what the other person is going through or what circumstances they're facing and that too we're not in the same continents some are in africa some are in europe you know like we are all over the world and we are together and working so it's very important to have this emotion towards each other and to also support each other to have a very good work environment thank you sukesh anybody else wants to share please feel free to share morning everyone morning jessica um yeah for today's topic um i think for me when it comes to to this i would say okay i've been thinking about it but i would say it's 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 something that takes a lot of thoughtfulness as a person for which honestly not not so many people would have that patience you know to be thoughtful and maybe say okay if um let's say jessica is not around maybe you know she has an issue maybe she's not well you know most times the immediate thing would be why isn't jessica here why isn't she uh, doing you know what she's supposed to be doing so i think it really takes a lot of um a lot of thoughtfulness which i think is something that you just have to teach yourself to practice as Barama was talking about self-control. Yeah. Um, it is a w why I think it actually takes time to practice because in most cases, um, because in most cases, it's easier to understand something that you've experienced. You know, for most people, um, you know, we always talk about putting ourselves in someone else's um shoes, but sometimes it's 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 not as easy. As, as it is because sometimes the only thing that we actually know is what we have experienced in our own in our own in our own life so I would say um if sometimes when you've not crossed over to something you might not really really understand it as as much yeah so for me I'll just say just for my let's say my personal um experience I'll say that so many times um, I would say, let's say parents, mothers, and I would not really understand or just give an example. Like, let's say you'd have a meeting and someone would show up like two hours late and let's say they'll come and say, oh, um, I'm late because of, you know, the baby. But you don't really understand if you don't have a child that, you know, they can actually, you know, make you late because it takes so much time. So that's just like a small example. It's like, unless you have experienced something. So I think it takes a lot of, thoughtfulness and also another thing I would say um there is a quote um that I like that talks about um I'll just paraphrase talks about being kind to people because you don't know what you know they're passing through so I think sometimes you know the least that you can do is just to be kind to someone yeah so even if you know you might not understand what they're going through because being kind to somebody um, in a way you're showing them empathy. So even when you might not um, understand something completely, I think being able to learn how to be kind um, to people 
I think is one of those ways that will kind of come up as you're being um, empathetic to someone. Yeah. So for me, I think uh, being able to to try and uh, teach ourselves to be thoughtful um, and also to 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 learn to be kind to to others. Yeah. Thank you, Lina. You're right. It's very very difficult to actually think that you can be in other people's shoes because the life experiences that we go through and the things that we go through, some are similar, some are not. So yeah, especially in this work environment where you are not present or that's why I think it's uh, very important for us to build um, such a relationship with our colleagues that we actually know what sort of person they are and that will help us to sometimes be very uh, trustworthy and for us to be able to understand whatever circumstances they face because I feel like if you do not know a person well you tend to misunderstand that person a lot so it's very key and important that you at least know the person for who he or she is and the qualities that they have as a as a human being yeah thank you so much um does anybody else wants to share Please feel free to share your opinions. You can even um, add on to what someone said. Oh. Yeah, this is Justin. It's going to be the first yeah, time to Justin. be like talking. The first time I came, I found that it was the, the meeting was ending. Um, what you've just said is uh, really good it's encouraging me because uh, I have challenges in like speaking it's the first time to speak like this in public I can say it's public because it's going, it's going to be on YouTube um, yeah when you look at my situation it's 4 p.m and someone might think that oh you have you can it's it's you you can change and be like ending, but sometimes it's hard. But today I got a chance to be here. I really miss this because it can uh, help me with my, like be able to speak up. But now I've been able to come in and I feel uh, happy. And it's because of this uh, cognitive empathy that is encouraging me to be able to speak up because I see when I talk to you people, I feel home. I've, I've never experienced anything like I've, talken, I've spoken to this person and I've got this negative way of like, I normally find in other places. I really, uh, uh, I'm happy that I'm here. You people are encouraging me to be myself. Thank you so much. So uh, I think I'm going to end there. But yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, Justin. We we are also happy that we have each other here. It's the same for me. When I just came to Morocco, uh, I had no experience of um, work. And I was just out of, I was not even completely out of uni. And so I had a lot of doubt in myself and a lot of fear in my heart. Like when I come, um, am I gonna be judged or am I gonna learn things faster or am I gonna be slow? Like I had a lot of doubt in my mind and in my heart. But when I came, you can see that we all have smiling faces, even more like he's the face of the organization. He's always smiling. And I think that that and the vision and the assistant and go every day and yeah it still motivates me and I think that's such a very good quality that uh, Morikul has that whoever comes here as long as you are humble enough as long as you you try to feel belong you would actually be accepted as one of the Morikul family so yeah thank you 
guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Jason. Um, do we have another testimony? <laughs> yeah, I think someone else can also share. You can share your experience as Justin did. Um. Does anybody else want to share? Okay. Um, if not, I think um, we can end our session here for today. Thank you everyone for sharing. Thank you for this opportunity and I hope you have a good and blessed day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Justin.